Hello everyone, I'm Ravneet Singh. I'm your lead instructor for PCE Final Frontier and I have a very special guest with me today and that's Guljot Kaur who just passed her PCE in July 2022. Uh, I'm very thrilled uh, to uh, invite and to introduce Guljot with everyone and uh, very proud to say that she passed her PCE in the very first attempt. Guljot, welcome to the session. Thank you, Ravneet. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And thank you so much for your support throughout this journey. I've been preparing since like last few months and it was really nice experience with the whole PC uh, Final Frontier team. All right, great. Thank you, Kuljot, for agreeing uh, to do this interview. Uh, I'm, I'm naming this whole interview series, uh, The Solutions to the PCE. All right, so uh, out there in the world, people always talk about the problems, but uh, as an advocate to the physiotherapists, I want to talk about the solutions uh, towards the PCE because there's a huge chaos and people really overthink and it's okay to overthink because it's a very anxious topic to talk about. So I'm going to ask you some questions and if you're okay, just speak from your heart and uh, give us your thoughts about it. Yeah, sure. All right, my favorite question, and I'm going to use this question for the first one to ask you. How did you feel waking up to be a physio in Canada? Well, that's really nice question. I haven't thought about this question, but uh, yeah, it was really nice. After so many restless nights, I feel, so, feel felt very relieved. So right. like I felt very you know, calm and so relaxed and a feeling of satisfaction i would say and uh, i felt more confident and uh, the first thing came into my mind was i i got my lost uh, belief in myself back because after so long time because i stopped working as a physio since covid so uh, throughout that time uh, i've been just preparing and thinking about again working as a physio in canada so it was really nice getting that title back. So, yeah. That's true. I always believe that even though you're a physiotherapist and even though when you were preparing for the exam, I've always said in my classes also, there's only one difference between you and between you who passed the exam is that piece of certificate. Uh, the kind of authority that you can feel right now after passing the exam is going to be different than um, the kind of imagination and the mental practices that you had for your patients before because right now you have the authority that whatever you're going to say would mean something to your patients and into your practice, right? So I completely understand that. Okay, perfect. So let's move on to something which everybody wants to listen uh, from a person who passed the exam for the very first time in the very first attempt. So please tell me something about like, what would you recommend to someone who just started preparing? Okay, so uh, to answer this question, I would like to tell how I started to prepare. Right. So when I started, uh, I didn't open up the books. I so, like I bought therapy aid book. So I started solving that practice questions. So I read somewhere that don't just go to the textbooks and read whole context because it's very boring and monotonous to be uh, honest. So sure. I start, I just wanted to look at the question, how PCE looks like, how should I read my stuff? So that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing I have learned through this process. So the format, how the questions are being asked. So I read the questions and then I had a look, I uh, solved uh, them. And then I got an idea, like how should I read my context? So then I went back to the books and then I started reading the stuff like in a form. Okay, so this is the paragraph. So how would the questions be in the exam? So that's the key point where you should start. Right. So you're basically trying to say, try to understand the questions. Would you recommend everyone to look at the questions that are posted on the CAPR website to have an idea? Or would yeah, you sure. say therapy ed would be a good idea to go with? So I did both. So CAPR okay. also and therapy ed also before reading the context. So that 50 questions I solved and the therapy ed questions. And then I got an idea. And then I started thinking, uh, making questions in my mind. Okay, so what would be question from uh, this particular topic 
right. so so the basically uh, the basic idea is saving your time so not wasting more time on the books right so like lengthy books if you start reading from the first chapter i remind i remember your words also of me from the class by the time you read to the intervention if you're reading a chapter your connection is lost your right. um, concentration is lost right perfect no i can totally relate that uh, so you basically trying to say that to understand how the questions are made you need to get into the mode of solving multiple choice questions and then you can relate to the content this is how the question can be formed and this is this is how it can be asked so it's a great tip i think um, uh, i would watch for that too all right let's move on to the second question which is kind of related with that did you study the books did you study in the most conventional way to go through the books or did you study uh through the timetable that was given to you and you were like okay a uh, timetable is a is a good tool for me to keep me on the track or do you did you have to go back to the books and read every each and line from those big books so uh as i like said in the previous question i answered like so i didn't started reading the books right so when i joined this course so i started re uh, reading the timetable readings that are given so that are really helpful that that that's the one thing why i like like this course because in the timetable everything is given so like in a concise manner you don't have to like uh, go and open up all the books so it's really like concise concise like if you want to read one topic go to the timetable and like study that pdf right so at the starting like for um when i started i uh, i revised the stuff also from the pdf only right so only like if i feel like if i am not getting something i want to read it in detail then only i went into book if i want to clear my doubts right uh, yeah only for that okay sounds good i have a question which you kind of mentioned a little bit but i really want your perspective on this you know we keep t we keep telling each other about work smarter than harder you know what is your idea of smart studying through the whole process of four to five months that you spent with us what is your idea of smart studying so uh, i think it's not about only studying it's about training your mind training your personality i read it somewhere that education is not about only studying and grabbing the facts it's about training your mind so you have to train your mind according to the pce format if you want to clear because it's it's really frustrating process the actual exam is also very demanding like it's not like uh, if you are practicing the practice tests and you may feel anxious so you have to train your mind that you don't feel anxious or mm, at that time so your mindset would be like uh, uh yeah so your mind should be like if i am in that situation so how should i act right so yeah. if i am not wrong what i'm trying to understand is you're trying to say think like a physiotherapist and yeah. act like a physiotherapist when you are solving those questions don't just treat yes. them like questions but treat them like yeah. patients yeah yes right. yes of course like uh, when i like it's very monotonous when you read from the book you haven't right. seen that patient and you yeah. cannot imagine so for that you can add, like uh, watch some videos youtube videos and read from the blogs from from the internet um, also so that's also a, a good idea to get a complete context so it's not about cramming first you have to solidify your concepts so if you are clear you understand that topic and then only if you are forgetting some things because there are some things you cannot remember all the time you have to go through them again and again so right. for them you like you have to work harder but for the concepts you like you should be clear that is true that is true okay. uh i think it's now my second favorite question how did pc final frontier model help you i'm going to give you some options okay we had bonus content in the pdfs we had bonus content in the videos like for all the joints we had daily discussions on telegram group we have one weekly discussions on the telegram group we have all the mentors who are active in the telegram group okay you had live classes you had um weakness class okay you had extra webinars um you had access to the mock exams right you were given a timetable when to take which kind of practice exam right so give me some idea of how did you manage with the course 
that PC Final Frontier model provides you? And what is the best way for anyone who's joining the course and you would suggest like you start from here and follow the pattern? So I joined as a study bundle student, so I remember. I remember. <laughs> so yeah, so then I started, you know what, I started reading the timetable and I watched the recordings. Right. So then at some point I felt that uh, I should join the live course, like it's it's good, like because you have option to ask questions, you have an option to open a discussion. During the so, live class. Yeah, during the live class and the Telegram group. So I switched to the full live course and the, was, uh, the first thing I liked uh, is the live classes. The mm -hmm. most like <laughs> the most favorite thing was live classes, you know, because uh, after studying so many years since there were some concepts which were like we haven't read right during our bachelors, even even during the masters, right? Live classes helped me a lot. And you don't believe like uh, some of the topics I only watch the live lectures and you, you like your recordings I never got back to the books and I would like to mention the topics like cranial nerves gait and uh, spinal cord injury so these three topics I know I ne never took them serious but during this course I never uh, get back to the books I just watched your lectures and that was taken to my mind and uh, no question was wrong from that topic. So I'm really awesome. happy. So that was yeah. the first thing. So because your lectures, they are prepared in a way like you understand the thing and then you can uh, like if you understand the concept, you can solve any question. Right. Because these are the basics. And yes, of course, the daily questions that was, uh, you know, in the morning. The first thing I just uh, got to see a question and I saw, so my mind started working. Like instead of, uh, like instead of going and uh, talking to my family or doing anything else, I just look at the question and that's a really good start uh, in the morning. And the format was really excellent about the timetables. Everything was covered, and I don't need to open up the book, big books. And I solved all the mock exams. I think twice maybe and I solved all like uh, uh, questions on the uh, social media right. and where you provide the free resources and the on the app also MPTE app also so yeah that was <laughs> about the final frontier what I like the most and I would advise every student to like uh, be attentive during the live classes because right. most of the syllabus is covered there like right. my well, like my 50 percent preparation was only from listening the lectures and then i have just have to focus on uh, my weak points right sounds good uh, i personally really love live classes because um initially we had thought that we would just launch the study bundle but then because i'm a kind of person who likes to talk a lot and this is what i really like uh, in the live classes we need to interact with people and we need to understand what exactly they are thinking about the questions and it's i agree it's important to interact because if i don't interact i don't know which direction we have to go towards right so uh, uh, the participation from both sides is very 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 important okay perfect now i think uh, it's time to wind up uh, cool joe once again congratulations the whole team is so happy for you um clearing the exam in the first attempt is a very different feeling and uh, a huge burden uh, getting off your shoulders and now you're moving on um, with your life as a physiotherapist and would start practicing which is like a dream for millions of people who want to come to Canada and start practicing, right? Anything, uh, any any final words, any suggestion that you want to give to anyone, unbiased, uh, like 100% honest coming out of your heart. So uh, for the team, yeah, uh, it was really nice working with you <laughs> and they were very supporting. And every time we can just reach out, it's just only one message away. Right. And uh, one more strategy tip that came into my mind, what, which I did at the end days, because end 15 to 20 days, uh, it was like uh, the topics which I do not remember, like uh, I made flashcards, right. cue cards that you said in your strategy class also. So I keep that stack of uh, cards, yeah. 
<laughs> I also have the whole bundle. So we just made... talked about it yesterday in the class because we're starting yeah. uh, the retention strategies uh, in the yesterday's class. So I was just talking about how to make the flashcards and how to do the retention strategies. So good point. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I it, they were very helpful because whenever I was sitting idle, I just open the cards and give it to my family member. Just ask me questions, yep. draw diagrams. And uh, one more thing you, I, I remember you said in one of the lecture that if like, uh, if you don't remember something, for example, brachial flexor or myotomes, so get up in the morning and draw it daily on the right. board. So I got a whiteboard and seriously for one month, I draw hold myotomes chart and peripheral nerve injuries and the brachial flex, everything. Right. It only at the end, at the end, uh, end days, it only took to five minutes just to draw exactly. the whole diagram. Exactly. So that was really a good experience. Just what a good point. What a good point. Because just yesterday in the class, we were talking about how to improve the muscle memory. And we were yeah. talking about, the, we know that pharmacology is not a part of PCE. But anytime when you're reading Parkinson's or when you're reading any heart condition, you see even the name of the one drug, you're freaking out because it's drug. So we were just talking about it, like how doctors, how MDs always remember the drugs, but we don't, and we always uh, freaking out about it. It's all about practice. You know, if, if you're practicing exercises every day, you remember the exercises, right? You practice physiotherapy every day. That's why you're perfect in that. So good point, anything that requires retention, just practice every day and it builds in your mind. It becomes a muscle memory and it starts coming out automatically. Yeah. And I think, I think that is a very good point to, to wind up the session, Kuljot. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for your pictures of your vacation of or of the parties that you're going to have <laughs> this weekend. And I'm really sure. looking forward to it. And uh, but I appreciate it giving me the time to do this because I always believe that the difficulties that I went through, I don't want other people to go through. The difficulties maybe you went through, you would not want other people's to other people to make those mistakes. So it's very important for us to keep giving out this message to people that you know I made these mistakes. Don't make these mistakes. So that's why I'm keeping um, the interview sessions called solutions to the PCE, right? Thank you, Kuljot. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Ravneet. It was really nice summing up the whole three, four months in experience know. and just yeah. talking. Yeah, it's really uh, If nice. you ask me, I know you can write a book on that, but uh, <laughs> we want to keep it short. It's and yeah. we want people to get engaged and um, you know take the most important lessons out of it. Yeah. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy the success. We'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Ravneet. Okay. Bye. Bye. Take care.